Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Uh, today I'm popping in just to quickly chat about a topic that sprung to mind while out hosting a safari in Madikwe Game Reserve not too long ago. And the reason why this came to mind is um, a guest spent one afternoon while bumbling around um, Madikwe looking for, for wildlife and she spent this time knitting a sock. And a lot of the guests on board that accompanied us on the safari were quite taken aback by this because why would one knit and not want to focus on what's happening around you? Um, but, and, and then comments on Instagram, the stories, the images that I posted on my feed um, were pretty much um, exactly the same. How can one go out into the field in Madikwe in a very game or prolific wildlife area and um, game rich area and not want to take in every single little bit of what's happening around you and the crazy thing is she did not miss out on a single thing and this is the reason why I wanted to do this podcast is to chat about muscle memory because I sat there watching her while we were bump driving along bumpy roads over rocks and um, and she was just sitting knitting away not looking down at her her knitting needles or the wool once um, and while she was knitting she was taking in what was happening around her um, and if there was a particular scene that she wanted a photograph she just dropped it all and started shooting um, and this inspired me to do this particular um, well, podcast and slash video. If you'd like to watch the video, you can go check it out on YouTube. If you are watching the video um, and would rather like to listen to the podcast, go check out the podcast as well. Um, but I shared um, the thoughts with the guest and she said she's more than happy for me to run with us and use her image to um, obviously put into this blog um, or video or podcast featured image um, but let's get into it muscle memory um, it's, it's a vital thing we use it in everyday life whether you know it or not and what muscle memory is it's, it's basically a procedural memory which is a, a form of long-term memory which basically um, consolidates or the more you do it the more you consolidate a particular or specific motor task into your memory through repetition so the more you do it the more it will embed itself in your brain and then obviously your brain will communicate with the limb um, or organ that you are using to master this task um, so I cannot stress enough how important muscle memory is when it comes to one's photography because it is vital because and the reason I say this is because the more you nail down on the particular um, setting that you want or buttons that you use frequently, um, the less of a conscious effort you have to put in when operating a device or a camera or a lens or whatever it may be. Um, so this is a, a process where you start um, basically decreasing uh, the need of your attention when it comes to um, changing a setting um, or um, what button is used for what and this basically um, creates maximum efficiency when it comes to your motor skills when you need to make a change make a setting and therefore obviously also hopefully um, eliminate you losing the shot because a lot of the time what I see guests do is look down at their camera to change the ISO or the white balance or whatever it may be the aperture and by the time they pick the camera back up and look up into what they were looking at previously, the scene had changed, the line had moved off. And so there's a particular image that we use on our digital photography courses here in the Wild Eye office, which um, is the very second practical exercise, which states, grab your camera and then close your eyes. And then the reason why we do this is the guests grab their cameras, close their eyes. I then ask them, can you put your camera on and off without opening your eyes? Can you change between your different shooting modes without having to open your eyes? 
Can you change your ISO? Can you change your um, white balance or metering, for example? Do you know what these keys on the side of your lens do? Can you zoom in or out? Can you take your lens cap on or off? Um, so this all seems quite silly and quite basic. But the sooner you become familiar with this guy in your hand and know where every single button is, um, what each button does, and without really having to think of it when it becomes, like I mentioned earlier, something that is not really um, you're very conscious about. It just happens because it's a muscle memory. Um, I always use the example when out or hosting the digital photography courses is I speak about an iPhone, this thing. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you will relate. When it comes to typing a message on this guy, a lot of the time you can look up for two, three seconds, keep typing and probably not have a typo. And it's just because your thumbs and your fingers are so aware of where each button sits or each letter sits. We can use a keyboard, for example, as well. A keyboard plays a vital role in a lot of people's day-to-day -day lives. And I, <laughs> shame, I'm one of the odd ones out. I cannot type perfectly. I can't type quickly. I'm at least moved away from this whole <laughs> style of typing. But um, it just comes to prove that the more familiar you are with your gear, the better or the more efficient you will be at maximizing the end result of whatever you are trying to create type or write or whatever it may be so i'm going to try and encourage you guys through um what you're listening to right now is try and spend some time getting used to this guy in your hand if you want to become a better photographer may it be wildlife photography may it be wedding photography any form of photography or anything in life really if you want to improve spend time with this in your hand so that you can get used to how the device operates, how you should operate it. Um, and I can assure you, you will see a huge and dramatic change in your photography if you take the task of sitting for 20 minutes a day and say, okay, right, I'm gonna blindfold myself and let's change ISO, let's change the aperture. Um, let's move from aperture to manual. Um, let's move from autofocus to manual focus, whatever it may be. Just get familiar with this guy in your hand. Um, and I'd love to hear your feedback. If you give it a go, see um, what happens, um, let me know. I would love to see and hear if there was an improvement in your photography because I truly do believe that it will make a difference. So Yelena, if you're listening, thank you so very much for knitting that sock out on Safari. I know we had a good laugh about it, but um, it really inspired me to do this blog because or this um, video slash podcast because it does really make a difference um, and I'm going to be honest I sat there in awe for about five minutes watching her knitting while we were driving along um, and not missing a single moment as to what was going on around us so really cool I hope this podcast video blog whichever one you listened watched or read um, I hope it helped and yeah as I said I'd love to hear your feedback if there's anything else you'd like me to chat about in the future, may it be on, in a video or on a blog um, or in a podcast, please feel free to get hold of me at michael at wild-i-e-y-e.ca.za and I'll be happy to assist. Anyway, for now, I need to get back to the hustle, so have a great day further and chat soon. Bye-bye.